To represent Arsenal at any level, you not only need to be an exceptional footballer, but physically you need to cope with the highest standards. The three-time Premier League champions are vying for a Champions League place again under Mikel Arteta, playing a vibrant and energetic style. The women's team are top of the WSL and the academy is flourishing with several graduates excelling in the first team. Every training session and every match at the club is recorded using GPS trackers and the stats show the demands and the levels of competition have never been higher. You try not to look too much, but as the years go on, it's, it's getting more and more involved in football. Your stats are always there after the game for the sea, after training sessions. And I think it's important and for the sports scientists that can, it can gauge how tired you're going to be or if you need a rest or if you need to do more running or whatever. Um, but yeah, when we do races and that, it's, it's in competition. For me being a player has given me a lot of insight, you know, of what I actually produce, what physical performance I actually produce on the pitch on a daily basis, but in games as well. And then now being an academy manager, monitoring um, under 12 players, you know, to under 23s players uh, gives us a huge benefit in terms of um, how does a player progress through the system, um, with all the bumpy roads he's going to have in terms of injuries, coming back, being monitoring uh, physical data uh, is huge for us. The Premier League itself over the last 10 years has drastically changed, even though the distances covered in games has stayed quite similar how they get to those distances is really different so it's really high intensity intermittent sort of plays so you know even over that that 10 year period there's been like a 50 percent increase in the amount of high speed running that they actually complete in a game it means that players that have come through the system need to be able to cope with what the manager demands the ferocious pressing the electric counter attacks day in day out it gives you real insight. What do we need to do to make sure we build our players up for the end game? And the end game is the Premier League, um, the weekly battle, the intensity that, that that brings. So it gives us a huge ad advantage, you know, uh, and gives us a foundation to then really look at is the player capable of delivering this? And then is the play of delivering on a daily basis with the same intensity which is more around you know does he want to be champion it's more about the mindset and, and the decision making on the field but without the foundation you have no chance whatsoever. Arsenal might be one of 15 Premier League clubs to be partnered with Stat Sports but they are the first to give boys and girls around the globe an opportunity to wear the same technology as the pros and if your stats are high enough the data could get you scouted by the club. So if you imagine you've just completed a game, you sync your tracker to the phone app, straight away you'll get a view that gives you an insight into like the intensity of that session, uh, the strain within that session, and also you'll get the key metrics like high speed running, max speed, and then as you go into a session recap, which will give a little bit more detail, you can see like five minute breakdowns, you can see your heat maps, so where you spent time on the pitch, um, where the sprints happened uh, throughout the game. And then obviously the, the last part is being able to compare yourself to those academy players or those first team players as well. So that's for us would be the, the holy grail where you know someone gets noticed based on their physical capabilities as well. You can see if you're an academy boys under 14 left back, you can see what an Arsenal left back at that age group is actually doing in games. So you can benchmark yourself and see okay, I can see, you know, I'm close enough in certain aspects, but maybe max speed or high speed running, I'm a little bit off. And it's, it sounds a little cheesy, but it's like what you, what you don't measure, you can't change. I think it's brilliant. Um, I think fans just look to relate to players and get to know a bit more about them. And now they can compete against them. So yeah, I think it'll be, it'll be good for the fans who are involved in that. Every single player who has got an interest in football and want to get better to compare themselves, you know, to, to really build a foundation you know, to what you need to deliver on a physical data um, and on top come your football inability in terms of your decisions on the field, uh, your technique, which is crucially important, uh, but it really gives you a foundation now what is required. It's really fantastic for me if I was, when I was younger, being able to, to look at my role model and their sort of data metrics 
to see the level it takes to get to that level is, is brilliant. So the fact obviously Arsenal and Stat Sports have combined now to, to be able to introduce that to fans and young players is yeah it's brilliant. So I'm hoping that Stat Sports' new product can finally help me realise my dream of becoming a Premier League footballer. Important caveat, I'm in my mid-30s now and only play football these days with my three kids, but I've got my boots and I'm ready for the trial. As a left-back, I've got my eye on Kieran Tierney's position, but it turns out I might struggle to catch Mikel Arteta's attention. There's always hope, I would say, um, but, but yeah, I think you're pretty far off in that sense if you're trying to chase Kieran Tierney's levels. Yeah, so going by the, the GPS, my, the, the time or the score, whatever it is, was the highest in the squad. Um, and it's, it's one thing that has always been one of my strengths is uh, speed. Um, so it's something I work on a lot as well um, and something I take pride in. Tierney's over 36 kilometres per hour, he's able to achieve as a max speed, so over 10 metres per second. Um, yeah, look, I think what will be interesting here is being able to see, so we'll do a 30 minute session today, but we'll extrapolate that data out to what you would do in a 90 minute game so that we can compare you against the pros, just to put it in context and, and get your pro score as well. So looking forward to that being shared on socials after. Or yeah. not. Yeah, can't wait, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> uh, session's just finished. I think uh, I haven't seen my stats yet, but I think Kieran Tierney's spot's safe. Rob, you're up first, so um, yeah, good showing. So pro score 72.8, uh, max speed 29.85, and you can see compared to Saka, who's 36.32. You happy enough with that one? Yeah. <laughs> it gives you a reality check, right, of where you are in in your what you are able to produce physically on the pitch. But it gives you a real perspective, you know, on where Premier League players are. Um, and you don't get the data from me anymore, so it's difficult to compare yourself with me because you know we probably would be more close to each other than you think. Unbelievable privilege to play on one of the training pitches here. Incredible, so big thanks to Stat Sports and uh, yeah, for Arsenal fans around the globe. Great opportunity to show your stuff. Maybe one day play here as well.